Hey makers, this is Truveen and today I am going to talk about how we can consume environment variables value inside the Power Apps. So let's get started. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, please do follow me. So let's get started. Over here, I am on my machine and here I have created one solution named August solution. And over here, I have created one environment variable called email. And in this variable, I have stored one of the YouTube videos URL. So I set the value in the current value section as well as in default value section. Now, what I want to achieve here is I want to consume that variable inside my power apps. So how can I do that? Now, overall, this solutioning, I have two different approaches. Number one approach, if you are using premium license for power apps, then you can go with the first approach. But if you are not using any premium licenses for power apps, then there is another way using which you can easily get environment variables value without any additional cost. So let's go with both the approaches. Also, if you just wanted to skip couple of part of this video, the time range is available in the description box. So do check it out. So now, first of all, let me talk about the easiest way which requires the premium licensing because the way we are consuming the environment variable inside the power apps, we need to connect to Dataverse table and Dataverse itself is a premium connector. Okay, so let's get started. So over here, I have created my power apps. Now let's see the first approach. In the first approach, first you need to go over here into your data source section and you need to connect to Dataverse table. Those Dataverse table names are environment variables value and environment variable definitions. So make sure that you connect these two tables. How to connect these two table? Just click on add data and over here it will show you all the tables. Simply you need to search for your table name over here. So let's say if you are looking for these two tables, just search for them and just add there. That's it. Once you add the table, the next thing is that we need to find out the variables value. All right. For that, what I'm doing here is I'm just taking one label control. So let's take a label control over here. And now let's use a lookup formula. So over here, let's use lookup. Inside that first provide the name of the table, which is environment variable value. Then we need to look against environment variable definitions table. So environment variable definitions dot schema name is equal to we need to copy this internal name and paste it. This variable value we are looking for. So after that, we just need to provide value. So this is the lookup formula that you need to use. And once you use it, it will show you the environment variables value over here. Right. So this is amazing. Now, this was the first approach using lookup value. You can get the environment variables value. Now, every time you don't have premium license for your power apps, you have standard license as well. So how can you get the environment variables value without any licenses? So now let me show you that approach. For that, we are going to use one power automate flow. Now, let me show you how we can create a power automate flow. You need to just go to your solution, new, automation, cloud flow, and you can create instant cloud flow. All right. And from there, you can simply use power apps connector. So let me just create one flow over here. So I'm just using skip. And over here, let's select power apps. Let's use V2 and then add a next step. We need to send the value back to the power apps. So let's just send the value respond to a power apps or flow. And now let's define output variable. So you can provide any name over here like video URL or anything. And now which value you want to return. So over here, this is my environment variable. Let's provide it. All right. And let's save your flow. So I'm just saving my flow. I already saved. So I'm not saving this again. Then you need to switch to your power apps 
and you need to go to the action and over here there is an option power automate you can simply add your flow so let's say if you have stored your flow with this name you can use this if it is not available here just use refresh button i'm just adding this flow into the app first so we have added our power automate flow here now let's go to the app start and add our flow over there so just go to the app and open on start event and let's define one variable variable environment variable then you need to provide the name of your flow which is get environment variable dot run and then whatever the output variable that you have defined url dot url all right so that value will be stored here and now let's click on run on start and that value will be available and i just take one label to print that variable over here right so if you use only flow which means that you don't need any additional licenses for it but if you are using this dataverse method then it requires premium licensing so let's say if you already have one app developed with dataverse you can go with the first approach but if you have standard licensing in place you can always use power automate to retry the value of the environment variable hope this is helpful to you and well use your time if so make sure you hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any consultation the website link is available over here on the channel cover page also if you are looking to follow me on my instagram and twitter all the links are available on the channel cover also other social media information like linkedin twitter instagram everything is available on this link page with this This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.